welcome back to another episode here at Chores to Local. As I was browsing through Pinterest, I noticed some absolutely absurd travel hacks um, and also ones that kind of made sense. So I decided I would test it out today with my sister here, Olivia Hope. I got a lot of the supplies from the dollar store. In total, I spent less than $15 on these things. So the first travel hack we're going to dive into is about jewelry. Now, I read that you can use Pill, a pill case hmm. to store um, your jewelry in. And put, it's already tangled. Yeah, it's actually working out quite nicely. Oh yes, really nice. Okay, so I would say that this one is a success. The pill case one, definitely a thumbs up, I approve. My next one hmm. is for those who use a lot of necklaces, they said to use straws to loop your necklace chain through and then connect it and put it in here. Oh my god, you have to have like a really steady hand or a friend. Really hard to do, first off. <laughs> you need long is, necklaces. Yeah, and I don't think it's good because one, it takes forever, and two, it could still get tangled. Like, it could still get tangled on the other side, and also what if it runs into another uh, necklace, it's gonna loop around, and I think it'll make it even more tangled. So this straw one is an epic fail! <laughs> this next one I'm really excited about. Um, this one I didn't, this is the only thing I didn't buy at the dollar store. And a lot of people are using this lately. I think this is somewhat new because I've never seen it before. It's called Press and Seal by Glad. I'm not sponsored. However, maybe I will wish that I am because maybe it'll change my life. How do you even open this? Oh, here. Put one sheet down. Oh my god, they have cookies on the box. I want to make cookies. For this, it would only probably work with necklaces most efficiently. I'm gonna put this necklace out. <laughs> then you take another sheet of press and seal all right there and you put it on top and then you press and seal. oh this is awesome i can really shake this thing and it doesn't move then you can just fold it up and put it in your bag i really like this but i'm curious if it re-sticks okay taking it apart isn't as glamorous I think life hacks are very glamorous in general. Right, so we're gonna try to put it back together now. Okay, so it does it does reseal. It's not as strong the second time, but it does reseal. So just carrying a couple of sheets of this, I think would be a good idea. Oh, this one works. This next one is for we're diving to the beauty side. Ooh, the beauty, wow. the glamorous wow. side of travel. So as far as hair ties, hair ties can be such a nuisance. But this travel hack is to wrap them around a carabiner. So not wrap them around. Or not wrap. Like I mean, put like, them in. <laughs> um, but this is actually really smart. Yeah, I love this concept. I'd say this one is a thumbs up. It's, oh yes, using toothbrush holders to store makeup brushes. And I store like oh, this could be problematic. I should, no, do it the opposite way. Uh, <laughs> Either one, it's oh yeah, you can put the little eyeliner ones in and the eyeshadow ones. This one's not gonna work. I'll be right back. While she's gone, I'm gonna eat some Cheetos. So one thing I'm curious though is if it'll fit inside a makeup bag. Mm. <gasps> it does. Mm. Nice, okay. So I'd say that toothbrushes for brushes is a go. Um, Easter is rolling around the corner, so I figured it's appropriate. Mm. The idea is, I love beauty blenders. Please ignore the fact that this is absolutely disgusting. But the idea is you put your makeup brush into a egg. I think this is awesome. It definitely helps it so it doesn't run into things, but the problem is like, what if it's wet and you store mm. it in here? So this one's like, meh, Just do that. Meh. <laughs> Next one, pot holder to store your straightener. Let's what? see that. Yeah. <laughs> bag, so the idea is you stick a straightener in here and it will prevent you from melting all your things. I think it's a good fit. However, what are your thoughts? It'll just go like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not the reason that I think this is problematic. Well, this is for a very specific situation in that you are doing your hair and suddenly have to run out of your hotel room to catch like a flight or pack up. And I think that for the most part, I mean, just do your hair before you have to leave. Like, just <laughs> plan ahead. That's the life hack. Um, that you should plan ahead because, I mean, 
You don't need to carry That's this. That's just dumb. You can wait for it to cool down. This next one I saw, and I really couldn't believe it. Like, this has got to be the most absurd one I have seen. In order to prevent leaks, with the pressure, the, they say to put a balloon on the end. What? Well, why would And you then you just travel like this. Just travel like this, it's not weird at all. Or you can just put your toiletries in a plastic bag. Exactly. Exactly. There's so many better ways to go about this. Cat, <laughs> my idea is just, you know, exactly what TSA said. And look at when I open this, it gets stuck. My. <laughs> Here's my other hack press and seal, right? We had that press and seal earlier. I don't think that's gonna work. And what we do? Simple. Take a little piece of press and seal. Look, Olivia. Sorry, take notes. Put it at the end. Or saran wrap. Put the cap on and spin. People say that this really does work. I believe it because it creates like a barrier. Um, for your razor, cover it with a binder clip. Let's see if that works. Mm -hmm. The reason I think this one is great is because one time when I was visiting Martin in Mexico, I was packing up my bag and I reached in and it cut a big chunk out of my finger and it bled all the way. It wouldn't stop. Nothing could stop. And so <laughs> this is the only way to go now. It is like that. Oh, I'm trying to like get this. Yeah, exactly. It's good. And it won't like slide around. What if you put press and seal on it? Press and seal. The hack I'm of the day is press and seal. I'm my whole house. You know, that could be a whole other video. <laughs> uh, we are moving on into electronics. Ooh, Ooh, high tech. First one, using hair clips to uh, wrap your cord around. You wrap up your cord and then you take a hair clip. Oh, that actually works pretty well. But you know what I see happening? I see me throwing this into a bag and trying to find it and then the hair tie coming off. But you know what? It's actually sticking pretty well. <laughs> it actually works. Okay, I'm not gonna hate on this one. This one is actually pretty good. And also, plus you have a little hair club. Okay. <gasps> Moving on. For people who own iPads or Kindle, take a beanie and use it as a case. Okay, first of all, I don't know, it's just, it like slides right out, and why can't you just buy a normal case? Well, okay, the reason I like this one is because I love condensing, um, and I think that beanies are good to carry with you when you travel in case it gets cold, so for that reason I like that you're condensing two things into one. Also, laptop, or iPad cases can be expensive, and sometimes they don't protect it that much. Sometimes you just need something really fast to put it in. For me, it's a win, and for her, it's a... Epic fail! <laughs> Next one, clothes pins are good for a couple of things. I heard that they're great for when you're in a hotel or hostel and there's a curtain that doesn't close all the way and there's that little beam uh, of light. This or you can clip use, it together. Or you can use binder clips too, probably. Oh, yeah, you can actually use the binder clip that you use on your razor. That's another a good multi use. Wow. So, yeah, you can use it for that and also for hanging clothes that you're drying if you do your own laundry when you're on the road. Mm -hmm. um, or just keeping swimsuits off the ground or something. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I yeah. think just having a couple of these or just taking a couple extra binder clips is a good thing. So, thumbs yeah. up for me. Next, denture tablets. Ooh. This one. I'm very happy about water bottles in general are so hard to clean even though I do like scrub them out and stuff I feel like I'm not doing a good job you put a tab a tablet of of this denture antibacterial cleanser in um, and you keep it in there for a few minutes and then you rinse it out and then it's de-baptized nice. bacteri bac bacterial I life. believe that that's antibacterial so yeah a couple of these are good to have got this at the dollar store so it's got to be the good stuff. Oh yeah. Take Using a shower cap to preserve your dirty shoes from touching other things. So having a couple of these just on hand would probably be good. However, I don't really travel with that dirty of shoes. I feel like if my shoes were super dirty, I'd clean them before, but who knows? Maybe you're like, you just hiked and then you need to go to another hostel. Mm -hmm. This would be like really brilliant. It's our last one. Oh my God, it's back to the carabiner. 
carrying carabiners is good for multiple reasons. I love to attach it to the top of my water bottle, my Nalgene, and clip it onto my, like a, a zipper on my backpack because what happens all the time with me is my water bottle will pop out of the water bottle pocket on my backpack especially if it's like really full and then I lose my water bottle but if you connect it to like the zipper of your backpack it'll be connected to that if it falls out so it's good and then also you can just connect like your shoes to your backpack especially if you have hiking shoes mm -hmm. connect them to the outside um, these are just good for all sorts of things to connect to your backpack so carry a few with you get a bigger one than this though this one's dinky all right guys that's the end of this video i hope you found it helpful and have figured out a couple of travel hacks that will work for you if you have any other ones that i didn't try i would love to hear them mention them in the comments down below subscribe to my channel for new videos every monday i have a lot of fun videos coming up especially showing you guys what it's like to work on a cruise ship which i'll be going to in like two weeks I'm so excited so anyway yeah make sure you give a thumbs up comment down below subscribe for new videos every Monday I think that's it and as always remember to keep the spirit of a tourist and the mind of a local whether you're on the road or in your very own hometown I'll see you guys next week bye, bye.